Hey Marvel fans, I'm Aaron the Toy Enhancer and welcome to the channel. And today we're going to take a look at the X-Men 97 Rogue. She looks amazing. Now like I, I told you guys before in the Wolverine review, I'm very new to Marvel, um, Marvel Legends, X-Men. Um, I've loved it at, over the years watching it, but... I never really collected a lot of the toys. I grew up with probably one or two Wolverine toys and you know that was it over the years. But I really liked the line. Um, X-Men 97 kind of drew me in and I picked up some Marvel Legends along the way, especially the discounted ones that I liked. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to slip into it. I'm not the the best Marvel person, but uh um, I've seen a couple reviews on Rogue, and uh, I don't think people gave her the credit that she deserves. So we're going to take a look at the package. Very vintage, very classic looking. I mean, every time I think of Rogue, especially from the cartoon, I mean, this is it, man. You know, this is... Here's the back side. I've still got to get Magneto, Storm, and Bishop, and, and uh, Gambit, and so I can't wait to get those. All right, let's crack her open. Let's get her in hand. I think, I think everyone's been opening these from like the bottom, so I'm going to try that method. It's a very good packaging. It's almost a shame to open up. Like the cardstock is super thick. It's really good cardstock. I love that. I hope uh, GI Joe Classifieds uh, retro or the retro GI Joe retro cards come out that thick. All right, so Rogue, Rogue. The things I know about Rogue, I'm not even a, a hardcore X Men fan, but I know she's a Southern gal. Uh, she comes from Mississippi, I believe. So she's a Mississippi girl. Um, in the cartoon, she had that country swang, but uh, you know, she never took no shit. That's for sure. Was always ready to go uh, head over heels into action. Marvel doing a great job on the sculpting. Looking great. Rogue. Alright, so another thing that I know about Rogue is that she had one of the most amazing powers out of the X-Men. And it was extremely dangerous. You know, she was a force to be reckoned with. Let's see if I can get loosen up some joints and get a get a good stance. So, um, she comes with just a plain hand. She's about to touch somebody. And then uh, she comes with uh, a fist. And that's it. I, I know a lot of people were complaining that, like, oh, she, her accessories are, you know, a hand and a fist. But that's the best part about Rogue. She had that superpower that when she touched someone, she would draw all their power and sometimes it was okay and some a lot of the times it got out of control only because rogue wouldn't know how to control oh sorry pick her up here she's got small feet so a little bit hard to stand but we'll get her posed up here real tight joints so it's kind of making it tough in that one leg So there were times that Rogue would harness the power of uh, some villain and it would be just way too much for her, overwhelming at times. And um, she couldn't control their power or uh, 
or you know the things would just go terribly wrong but uh she would just hold it for a certain time and uh she gained her her powers of flight strength and speed um i believe it was what was her name miss marvel that's who it was she gained her powers through Miss Marvel um, in one of the comics, and she just held on to her too long. And what it did is the overall um, outcome of it was she had these powers permanently of flight, speed, and strength. So that was really cool. And another thing in the uh, comics and early cartoons and whatnot, um, she was raised by Mystic. Basically, Mystic was like a, a stepmom to her. Um, so that, that that's an interesting fact that I don't think too many people knew, or or maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, anyways, Rogue had that that unbelievable power, and and um, she was just an ultimate ultimate fighting uh, champion in X Men. Um, in my opinion, I remember her watching watching her through the cartoons and just always kicking ass and ready to jump in there and do it. And, uh, like she, she had like those Superman powers and then the ability to, like I said, take off her glove and just from the touch, um, to harness the power of someone else to use it against them, to defeat them. She did that many times. And in my opinion, that's why rogue is just one of the, badass um x-men members and uh she shouldn't be shouldn't be uh downplayed at all you can see in this she's like holding her glove holding one of her gloves so when you when you put on the the hand it'll look like she just took it off to to harness someone's power and that's rogue everyone tell me what you think uh uh, leave a like, share, subscribe, <laughs> follow me for future reviews. Like I said, we're going to get into some X-Men and some Marvel Legends. This is all kind of new to me, so we'll take it step by step. And I hope you enjoyed, everyone. Thanks. <laughs>